political analyst John Rash is live in studio this morning. Good morning, John. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. I want to start with that story we just had about the huge voter turnout. Hundreds of thousands of people came out to make sure their voice was heard. Uh, we know that Minnesota has a long history of high voter participation, but what makes this election different? It's really remarkable in that the turnout was so significant on both the Republican and the Democratic side. Early indications are that for the GOP it was record breaking and it shows that the passions that we've seen throughout the campaign certainly have impacted Minnesotans and that these at least in this state are really close contests and we also saw of course results that were different than the national narrative record record breaking turnout but it's still only about 10 percent of the total registered voters it is and I sense that this will bring a lot of questions again about the caucus versus primary uh, system because of course the caucus is a specific time there are a fair amount of people who are working who can't get there sure we saw the long lines you just reported on some people will want to move back to a primary you mentioned that we went the other way as the rest of the country as we tend to do not necessarily picking the winners here Marco Rubio's win he and Ted Cruz actually get the same number of delegates from the Minnesota competition is Rubio done? He hasn't won anywhere. He doesn't get a significant delegate advantage from the Minnesota win. He certainly is facing very, very long odds. And yet the story that he can't win anywhere, he, as a courtesy of Minnesota, is able to dispute that at this point. And as important, he has the party infrastructure, the establishment that is so derided by so many of Donald Trump's voters behind him at this point. So he is going to continue to go on. But if we're having this conversation in a few weeks, and if he does not win his home state of Florida, he probably will be done for campaign 2016. I want to talk about the Democratic candidates. Uh, we know that Bernie Sanders had targeted Minnesota as a Super Tuesday state that he needed to win. And it certainly paid off all of his efforts here. He claimed nearly a 20 percent victory over Hillary Clinton. Why do you think Minnesota came out so strong for Bernie Sanders? He's a very good campaigner. He came here a lot. He engaged a lot of people. He did use something we don't, haven't talked much about in this campaign, which is traditional advertising. And we began talking about the election last night with the record turnout, and yet it's not as broad as a primary, and you often get people who are particularly passionate about certain issues, and certainly some of those people have supported Senator Sanders in other states and at a, at a very high level here in Minnesota. It's pretty interesting as always. It is. Yes. No question. And it, we were just in uh, early March here, so all the way, of course, through November. Long time to go. Long Absolutely. time to go. Yeah. All right, John Rash, thanks for coming in. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me.